Hey there. Oh, I hope you're doing well today. I am having a an emotional morning for sure. Um, the last kind of vestiges of my time on the dating website or app um, are sort of like, I guess they're sort of trailing off and I'm really not wanting to come to terms with that. So, um, gosh, I'm just going to jump right in apparently. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I really don't want to be honest about this because I want to keep like up the um, the excitement and the fun of getting to know someone and exploring dating and all of that. Um, but I'm also getting this feeling that I am um, still trying to avoid some more healing by starting a relationship too soon. And it's really difficult because... Um, I like this guy. He seems really great and he's um, smart and sensitive and well I'm still getting to know him but I've known him in the community for a little while so it's a little upsetting. I don't I don't totally want to let him go yet so I, I can't say that I'm doing that but um, I'm at least recognizing and acknowledging that that might be what I'm supposed to do. Um, and for me one of the best ways to no, is because my cat normally um, actually starts to go to the bathroom in random places, uh, sometimes on my bed, because she's wanting to let me know that, in fact, I need to go check on her right now. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so it turns out she was just sitting in the center of the bed, so that's a good thing. Um, so anyway, I just totally wasted time. Sorry. Um, so I don't know. I don't want to let go of this person. I don't want to let go of the idea of being in a relationship. I don't want to let go of the fun of um, getting to know someone. And at the same time, I realize that in a lot of ways, I'm still doing that with myself. And that it's um, really easy for me to very quickly jump into being someone I think that would be a good fit for whoever I want to be with. And I mean, I feel a little bit almost like an actress because I don't, and I don't even realize I'm doing it. And so um, the only way that I can really kind of parse that out is if I have enough space um, both like spiritually and physically and emotionally and you know just existentially to to keep connecting with God and getting more clarity with him and so that's really gosh I hate admitting it but at the same time so I was doing my meditation and I was just like okay so if I wasn't trying to figure this out what would be coming up and like I immediately had just this thought that just keeps coming up which is I miss my daddy I miss my daddy and um I don't know, uh, oh gosh, I just feel like there's so much healing around that that, that needs to be done. And, um, and I realize that some people might be able to do like, you know, multitasking healing. I don't know. But for me right now, I guess it's still um, pretty fresh. And, you know, I'm going to be seeing my parents, actually my dad, uh, this weekend. And so I'm nervous about that. And like the little girl in me is super excited. Um, Wow, I didn't realize that. Like, yeah, really excited because it's still so foreign to me to actually uh, like let myself enjoy spending time with him and feel vulnerable around him and um, yeah, just to enjoy him and just to be close to him. I just didn't have much of that growing up. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> um. So again, like just being willing to be honest with myself about my feelings and to honor that quieter, gentler part of me that is really the part that's been craving to get love and attention for decades now. You know, that's like critical to me continuing to um, grow and to um, develop a healthier relationship with food and with other people and, and life. So, um, there's that, and a whole heck of a lot of ums. Let's see. 
I don't know that I see anything else coming up really right now to talk about. So I did actually decide to set down my writing for the time being, which is a little scary because a part of me really feels convicted about wanting to finish this story I've been writing, but I was working on it last night and it took me to such a dark place and I suddenly felt very uh, separate from this world and people and um, community and all of that. And and frankly, the, the quieter child inside of me was like, um, yeah, I need to be out about like getting into the world, interacting and engaging. So there are just a lot of parts to navigate through. <laughs> and so, you know, for the time being, I, I followed suit and, um, and told her that, that I would support that coming out of the shell sort of thing. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, the soul is a really interesting thing, and it certainly demands to be heard. So I, I get confused about it on a daily basis, but um, I do find that the more willing I am to just ask God to soften my heart and to bring me closer to Him, and to show me how to love him more. Um, I mean, I just automatically feel peace because the first thing I hear is you don't have to do anything more. And that just brings me back to this moment and reminds me that um, I'm loved entirely and unconditionally right now, which is so hard to imagine because I'm not very good at that, but I'm getting better. All right, well, I think this is gonna be a shorter one. So the here is the quote from the EDA literature, and we're still in There is a Solution. Our main purpose in this book, as in our groups, is to share our experience, strength, and hope with others who struggle with eating disorders so that they might hear the message of recovery and find it for themselves. We will be bringing up controversial topics including mental illness, religion, spirituality, atheism, psychological and psychiatric treatment, and sex. We want to be clear that we are addressing these topics not because we wish to stir things up, but because they are important to recovery. In this chapter, we discuss how many of us got so ill and introduce material that explains how we got better. Yeah, it really is so critical and key that this whole process is about sharing experience, strength, and hope. And I think that I, when I first like heard that, I thought you have to share all the positive. And there is absolutely no qualifier with the word experience. Experience is all over the map. <clears throat> so that opens up the possibility for what is shared um, to be anything that was part of a person's experience. And so that's really helpful for me to think about right now because again, you know, like there's this notion that we should all just be sharing what's going to make other people feel better, that's happy and joyful, and, and that's so great, and that's where the hope and the strength come in, you know? But a lot of times that's born out of discomfort and pain and struggle, and so um, that part of the experience must be, must be shared. In fact, like it said earlier, like if someone said their eating disorder was easy or getting over their eating disorder was easy, oh my gosh, I would be like, what's wrong with me? You know, like, if it was easy for this person, then why isn't it for me? And I can say, honestly, it's challenging every single day, and it's it's not unbearable anymore, thank God. Um, but it has been, definitely. It's been terrible at times, and that's been normal for me. That's been part of the problem, and honestly, there are times when I have felt like I knew something wasn't quite right because... I didn't have enough dissonance in me. And I've come to know that growth for me means some upheaval. And so I, I almost, I don't, I guess I almost crave it sometimes, you know, just that raw connection with the vulnerability that makes me human and that makes me um, seek connecting with God. Because that's like when I feel the most peace, regardless, like above all 
like if I feel connected to God through people, like relationship, um, and then just directly through him. So, um, so yeah, there definitely is a lot that comes up and, uh, that's the point. And it's safe though. That's the beauty of it. It might not feel safe, but it is safe. And it's always better on the other side. So I'm going to try to remember that today as I continue to struggle with my will. <laughs> all right. I wish you all a wonderful day. And um, as always, encourage you to share if you feel like it. Otherwise, um, I will look forward to talking to you tomorrow. And all of a sudden, I'm, like, if you have questions, feel free to ask. Okay, that came to me. All right. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. I'm sending lots of love. Bye.